What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmin Gold, and today we're over here in the Thunder Isle. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some gold farming a pet called the Filthling. Okay, I was looking on YouTube and I thought I had seen a guide on this like a long time ago, but apparently I couldn't find it or whatever, and so I figured I'd make my own. And so pretty much what's going on here is that I, for whatever reason, I didn't show you guys on the map where it is, and so what I'm I'm gonna do like here is I'll just uh, Photoshop or not Photoshop, obviously Photoshop, but I'll put a uh, I'll put a picture of the map and where I am just so nobody's confused because then I won't get like a thousand comments asking where I am on the map. Now here's what's going on here. These uh, the quivering filthlings. There's two different kinds of them. There's a normal uh, or like non-elite one and an elite quivering filthling. And the elite ones have a chance of dropping this uh, this pet. It's a, like a half-empty food container. There's the big one there. Okay. And what what it seems like is that whenever you AOE them down all together on top of each other, there's a higher chance for one of the elite ones to spawn. Now I did some research with this on Wowhead and also through my own personal experience. And I can't really say 100% for sure, but it does seem like AoEing them down on top of each other gives you at least the same amount of chance as just uh, killing them normally um, where they stand if you can like one-shot them or whatever, or running over to them as melee. And so I can't really give you guys a for sure, but I would say if you're an AoE class, especially a Mage or a Warlock or a Moonkin, I think those would be probably the three best classes to do this. Uh, this is kind of more of a caster-oriented thing, and... You probably want to have at least like 540 item level to do this efficiently. And uh, I mean, obviously you can do this at like probably 500 item level if you want to, but you'd probably be better off farming like Pit of Saron or something like that. And uh, you'll be making more gold just because you can't kill these things nearly as quickly. And so all, all this really is, this is very simple, is that you just run from basically one side of this pool to the other and you AoE them all down at the same time. And then you kill the big one if the big one spawns. If not, you go back over to the other side. I didn't really know how long this was going to take to farm because I read a lot of like weird data and so uh, I actually got one at the end of this video but I literally like cut I was like fuck this shit I'm never going to get one of these I'm just going to show them you know where to find it and then they'll figure it out themselves and then like literally the next kill I, I, I get one and uh, I did not actually have the uh, the recording of the mob dying and me looting it, but I do have the recording of it actually like going into my bags and all that. And so you guys will see that I'm not lying to you. This is actually where uh, where they drop, and this is the only place they drop in the entire game. Now the amount of gold that you can uh, think about making here. Now it, obviously it's each server. I really don't like to give you guys like bullshit numbers. Uh, I can tell you guys in my half hour farming, I farmed one of them. Okay, and one of them sells for three thousand gold. Now, that's actually not true. One of them, there are th three of them on the auction house for 3,000 gold. And so they probably will sell very quickly at 2,500. And so I don't really know exactly how much gold you're going to make per hour. I would say if you've got good gear, um, 3,000 would be, I guess, maybe a healthy number. But I can't really say for sure, again, because this is an RNG thing. It's not like you're farming like something very consistent. And so you can get really lucky and get like three of them in an hour or something like that. And they sell for 5,000 gold on your server and you're gonna make over 10,000 gold. You're gonna make 15,000 gold in one hour, but uh, that's unlikely. And also you could farm for three hours and get zero. It's kind of the same with everything else, but I figured I wanna mention that because I see a lot of gold guides on YouTube and they advertise like, oh, you're gonna make uh, 40,000 gold in an hour or something like that. That's just not going to happen, and uh, I want to give you guys a real estimate, and I'd say 3,000 is something that is pretty realistic. Uh, 2,000 is probably a little bit more realistic for people with less gear, and um, 5,000 maybe if, you know, you have, like, I don't know, like 580 item level or something like that, and you're able to farm these extremely quickly, and you are decently lucky. But as I said before, uh, this is very simple strategy here, is I just pull them all to myself, and then I AoE them all down. Uh, as a Warlock, you pretty much want to be Destro for this. I tried Affliction, but I just didn't really think it was that good. I figured Destro was a little bit better because it helped group them up. And also, I think if you kill them, like, the closer together in time that you kill them, I think that that also has something to do with it. I was, like, reading, and, like, somebody asked, like, one of the developers, like, what it was, and they didn't really say for sure, and so... I can't really be 100% sure and tell you guys, like, certainly, but at least everybody's comments on, like, Wowhead and everything 
that's what it seems to be uh, indicating is that whenever they're grouped up and they die semi uh, in like I don't know like close to each other uh, in terms of time they will uh, have a better chance of spawning the elite mobs and I don't know if I mentioned this yet but the elite filthlings, quivering filthlings there's one right there see I just got him and I killed him and I'll show you guys what kind of pet it is by the way uh, it's just a miniature version of one of these so I actually didn't really show it as the actual pet itself but um, you can learn it, and uh, it's soulbound, so you have to actually cage it and then sell it. But it is BOE whenever you cage it, and it can be sold. But anyway, that's really all it takes. And I said before, uh, if I didn't, um, it only drops from the elite uh, filflings. And so you pretty much want to cause those things to spawn, and then that's pretty much it. And just keep doing them until you get the pet. And 3,000 gold per hour. Maybe. It kind of depends on, you know, a lot of other things, obviously. But that's pretty much what I would what I would set it at. So, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and like, comment, and subscribe.